Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Last night there off Port Hardy, Canada, there was a magnitude 5.2 earthquake um, along or near the Juan de Fuca fault line. Originally, Canada EMSC said it was a 4.9 and they upgraded it to a 5.2. Two people reported feeling this earthquake and that would have come from Barkley Sound. They have it marked here on the felt report. Here we got Vancouver Island. Here we have the report from Canada showing that originally they had it as a 4.9. It hasn't been changed on this page yet. 214 Universal Time, 8 kilometers in depth. USGS has it as 10 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 5 miles in depth, 8 kilometers. Quiet earthquakes for yesterday on PNSN.org has 201 earthquakes. Now, the day before, we'll move this ahead one day, they only have 10 earthquakes. Remember in my last report for the earthquakes along the, um, the California-Oregon uh, border, I showed how the earthquakes had increased. Now, this is the 22nd. Today is the 23rd. But they're always a day behind, so you can see they have nothing reported right now. Yeah, that was a large increase from 10 to 201 earthquakes. Doesn't help much when they're always a day behind in reporting the earthquakes, is it? On USGS, they have a 1.1 listed the day before, a 1.3. It looks like USGS only has two um, reported, I believe that's Medford. I could be wrong. It's hard to see when they got all the earthquakes um, posted on top. Here we got Eatonville. Um, this one here would be the, well, it's a 0, 0.0. Mount Rainier. Um, let me try and get that. A 1.1. So actually the uh, earthquake there they have for Packwood is Mount Rainier. And then we got, let's see, a 1.3. Now they have that as Packwood. Here's an image of the waveform as it came in there by Mount Rainier of the 1.6. It actually could have been higher. Here on USGS, they got it a 2.86, 2.06, 2.22, and let's see what else, 2.36. Automatic by the computer was 2.03. 2.33. The farther away the monitor would have been, the smaller the earthquake would have recorded. Here we got 2.77. As you know, USGS loves to fudge with earthquakes. Yeah, we got a small popping of the rock here. And then today, I'll show you what it's showing. Looks like another small earthquake this morning that's not being reported. And I'll pull it over for you. This is another monitor near Mount Rainier, um, Paulup River. And you can see, yeah, this was an earthquake. And there's that supposed 1.6 that came in yesterday. I'll pull that over for you. And that's it. Anyways, we can see here where we got the Juan de Fuca subduction zone moving um, towards the uh, southeast as it subsides underneath the uh, North American plate. The fault and the energy, yeah, you can tell here. Yeah, it dipped down towards the southeast. Tension initially came in coming from um, the west, and pressure, supposedly, was applied going uh, north. Yeah, but, yeah, by this fault line, and who reported it? Yeah, uh, most of the energy of this earthquake went southeast. No reports of damage, uh, no tsunami warning. Um, we just have to keep an eye on this and see what we have under the quiet earthquakes if it continues to increase. And I wish they would post what they have today instead of waiting for tomorrow.
What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I am on Patreon. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.